input. Okay, here I am. I have audio. Man, I just did that entire episode with no audio. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh man, this is going to be a hell of a morning. Um, yeah, I woke up with basically scarlet fever symptoms. So I'm like, yeah, up here, I got rash, I got fever and everything. But I, yeah, I was committed to doing this show this morning and, I, you know, because I didn't want to miss a day. And I've been talking about Arbitrum and I've been talking about Cardano and I've been talking about Chainlink. <laughs> and so. And I'm about to lose my voice here, and uh, I didn't realize nobody could hear me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Um, maybe I should start over. <laughs> Good morning. This is Eureka John with Eureka Street Crypto Hub. And coming at you live at 7.04 in the morning at May 19th, 2021. Um Yes, like I just said, I think I have scarlet fever, um, and uh, it's not fun. I don't think I have the Rona. Um, I, I, you know, in, in this day and age right now, everybody thinks that everything is the Rona, but um, people tend to forget that there are other sicknesses out there, and they always have been, and there always will be, and uh, so <laughs> I'm not going to immediately jump to conclusions. Um but uh, yeah, I'll go to the doctor and I try to stay away from all like prescription medicines and everything like that because I'm generally a healthy person. I don't really believe in giving any one dollar more than I should to the pharmaceutical corrosion, uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies. Um, I eat well, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I exercise, I get plenty of sleep and I try to keep my sugar and salt on a really low intake level. So uh, I think with uh, just what... I've been given my immune system. I can fight this with just some rest and relaxation and plenty of water. So I will let it pass. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that being said, <laughs> let's take a quick look. Uh, Rona, Mac, Rona. <laughs> I don't want to say the actual word because then YouTube will like, you know, uh, edit me out or something or cancel me. And I. I don't know. I don't even really care about YouTube anymore. Um, but yeah, it's basically been a uh, bloody day. As you can see, everything is down. Um, everything is down. <laughs> everything. <laughs> this is, yeah, been an interesting um, day. So Bitcoin's at 38514 Ethereum is at 273151 Binance, 389.90. XRP, $1.27. Tether, $1. Cardano, $1.58. Dogecoin 37, Polkadot 35.96, uh, USD just in this broadcast has gone from 98 cents to a dollar one, and cart tether has gone from 98 cents to a dollar. So stable coins are kind of an indicator in the market. You can always tell whether or not people are buying or selling by the level of where a stable coin is at, because people buy in and out of stable coins whenever they buy and sell their other tokens. So it kind of give you a little, you know, just a little nudge on what's going, what's happening. Um, so Litecoin is 241.42, Bitcoin Cash 849.95, uh, Chainlink 33.06, Uniswap. Um, <laughs> he's asking me to sing. <laughs> Figaro Fortissimo. Um, <laughs> Uniswap 26.53, Polygon Matic 208. If you don't know, Polygon has made its way up to number 14. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, there's a lot of applications, DeFi apps and exchanges, and uh, it's a great yield farming opportunity right now. So uh, uh, I would definitely look into Matic. But people have been, and the Theta down here is down at 750. It's rock bottom price right now. It's amazing. And if you don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on with Theta. Take a quick look right now. Who's got a Samsung TV? I don't have a Samsung TV, but you may have a Samsung TV. It just had an automatic update, which gives me free TV, but requires internet connection and video on demand coming in the future. Aren't, isn't Samsung, and to be grammatically correct, it's not aren't Samsung, isn't Samsung a Theta network validator? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, how to use Samsung TV Plus app. Let's take a quick look at this photo. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is kind of big news here. Um, yes, they are. The free TV is also on their phones. Um, 
Moving soon, so upgraded to two new Chromecast type Samsung 60 fibers. Haven't unboxed them yet. Got them in case chip shortages kick into TVs. Hopefully, Edge upgrades soon too. Um, I got Chrome, a new Chromecast recently. Was excited to see Theta TV as one of the apps available by default. So imagine all these TVs all around the world. Anybody who owns a Chromecast um, automatically has a Theta Edge node built into their TV. Um, this is absolutely incredible. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, like I said, Theta being $7.50 right now is an absolute bargain. So, um, <clears throat> just, uh, just a heads up there. So, anyway, um, let's go on to some of this Arbitrum news. So, if you're interested in Matic, there's another side of the token. And its main competitor is Arbitrum. And the people from Matic tend to uh, say, uh, don't pay attention to what's going on over here with Arbitrum, because we're the king, and then the people with Arbitrum are over here like, oh, well, let me look down on the rest of this uh, cryptocurrency market with all their tokens, because Arbitrum, I covered it a few days ago, uh, because I was just beginning to take a look at it, it does not have a token. Um, it runs on the Chainlink nodes, and it uses Chainlink, basically. So... Uh, just a little getting down to the skinny of what Arbitrum is. Um, Arbitrum enables smart contracts to pay for processing in Link instead of gas, and gas meaning Ethereum, because right now uh, the Ethereum gas prices are super high and it's created a glass ceiling uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of what Ethereum was supposed to be about in the first place. Um, I can't do anything on Ethereum right now. Um, so I just have a bunch of stuff sitting in a bunch of wallets and then I have some stuff staked on Aave that I can't move in an ocean protocol because it's just going to cost too much to move it and I just don't think it's worth it. So I'm just sitting in the sidelines, sitting in the wings, watching everything happen and uh, waiting for <laughs> Ethereum, <laughs> Ethereum 2.0 to come out and waiting for these Layer 2 solutions and Arbitrum's coming out May 28th and if this is indeed going to lower the gas price as much as they say it is then it might be worth to do some moving around. Um, so, Arbitrum enables smart contracts to pay for processing and link instead of gas. This gives them one, faster processing, two, privacy, three, off-chain data if required because it does all the transactions off-chain and then it uh, puts the result of those transactions on-chain. Uh, four, better for the environment and uh, five, you get all that for considerably less cost than gas because what it does, it does a bunch of the transactions and a lot of the code stays off chain so you're not trying to blow up the chain with a bunch of unnecessary code that doesn't need to be there um, like what happens when you're uh, interacting directly with the ethereum blockchain so that's the, the the more bloated a smart contract is with a bunch of code and text and everything else the more expensive it's going to be that's why whenever you do like a transaction on say for instance ave versus just transferring from one wallet to another or uh, that it costs a lot more because there's a lot going on under the hood whenever you're setting up some kind of yield farming type of thing going on with Aave or some other type of DeFi protocol. Um, so yeah, consider this. Ethereum requires all nodes to process your transactions. It's slow, has no privacy, and it's expensive because the entire network is working for you. What if instead you can specify that you only want, say, four nodes who have exceptional reputation and who have privacy achieving capabilities, then you only pay them for the work and nobody else. That's chain link with Arbitrum. It's effing huge. Uh, yeah, it, oh shoot, where did it go? Ah, crap. I just clicked on somebody, random person's uh, profile. Uh, let me get back to my bookmarks. I was going to read some of this other stuff. Okay, Jimmy. All right, so, um, so yeah, that's um, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, but, you know, normally you wouldn't just. You know, only use four nodes. That was just an example because that seems pretty centralized. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, anyway, over here, uh, here's where uh, somebody is talking about Vitalik Buterin and the miner extracted value, which is based in uh, all these flash bots, which is basically legalized pickpocketing. Um, Ari Jules from Chainlink, uh, amazing computer scientist as well, um, wrote an article not too long ago on CoinDesk, miners front running service theft, that basically railed on uh, the miners and people uh, that are for this front running as a service and flashbots type of stuff that they're trying to bring out to basically legalize pickpocketing. Um, and uh, again, this is just my biased opinion on it. Some people may not see it that way. 
And uh, basically they say, well, there's going to be pickpocketing anyway, so might as well uh, make a pickpocketer have a license from the city in order to be able to pickpocket. And then the, uh, the rich people can hire a pickpocketer to go out into the public square and pickpocket. And the rich people who hired that pickpocketer get a good chunk of those profits. And that's basically what's happening right now with these minor extractive value and front running as a service. People are being able to auction, the miners are auctioning off this front running. Uh, and Arbitrum and F Fair Sequencing Service will eliminate this. Uh, the, contra the controversy he's talking about here is that our guy, RA MFing Jules, thinks minor extractive value auctions are theft and said as much in the scathing review of minor extractive value auctions, and he points to this Coindesk article, the same RA Jules that's built Fair Sequencing Service by Chainlink, which is ready to ship very likely with Arbitrum and a few other projects. That's right, Vitalik Buterin thinks not allowing bots and miners to literally steal from you and I is a political conflict and controversial. So controversial, in fact, that he desperately needs Uniswap to make an oracle without fair sequencing to facilitate stealing money from you and I. Don't believe me? Here's the next paragraph from Vitalik's proposal. Hence, these services need to somehow be provided at layer two. MEV auctions on 113, uh, 113 on rollups to fund ecosystem-wide public goods as being implemented by Optimism are one example of this. And Uniswap, as a decentralized exchange that is core to the Ethereum ecosystem, also taking on more responsibilities, including, including price oracle provision, is another natural potential step in this direction. And he is effing scared that Ari is going to F up his network that is siphoning off 90 million just this month from everyday users. I'm thinking staking is soon. That he somehow knows this. Not soon as in on Arbitrum release, but soon after. And that's why he's asking Uni to pivot at this point in time. Not just because Arbitrum is rolling out with fair sequencing services and he's afraid that once enough users choose Arbitrum, which they will... But he knows that when Chainlink staking comes out, his one reason for not choosing Chainlink evaporates and he has no other choice but to bend the knee and to end the minor extracted value and fair sequencing, uh, front running as a service gravy train. Are you not paying attention, Link Marines, Chainlink Marines? We are so close to winning, so close in fact that staking might be releasing in the middle of the golden bull run that I believe is coming up right after this, uh, this uh, market reset that we're seeing with the blood in the streets. And then his wanger is really hard thinking about it, apparently. <laughs> All right, so uh, so I hear you like Polygon Matic. Wait until you meet Arbitrum with Link. Um, the Matic and the Link people and the Arbitrum people seem to be butting heads right now. Um, so here's a little blurb. People on this board don't seem to understand just how significant the Arbitrum mainnet will be. So let me spoon feed you. Arbitrum is a layer two solution that will reduce gas prices on Ethereum by 100x. It's confirmed to be released at the end of this month. First of all, you can't buy Arbitrum. It doesn't have a token or coin. You can uh, you can buy, but it will be operated by Chainlink nodes, <coughs> and nodes will be paid for this service. Buying Link is the closest you can get to buying the first mover ETH scaling solution. Secondly, gas costs are the biggest thing holding back ETH DeFi at the moment, and that is absolutely true. As I explained before, there's a glass ceiling going on right now, and I can't... I, I'm not in the club. Um, people would rather use the centralized Binance Smart Chain because it's cheaper, but Binance Smart Chain is completely centralized and basically just copy and paste. Um, with Arbitrum, Binance Smart Chain loses this advantage and all the DeFi interest will pivot back to ETH with far greater vigor than in summer 2020. And if you were around in summer 2020, you saw a bunch of crazy products and DeFi mania and euphoria just all out of left field and with all these food... You know, type of tokens and everything. This should trigger DeFi season since Link is the king of DeFi. The results should be obvious. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, let me just reiterate. Arbitrum is a layer 2 solution that will reduce gas prices on Ethereum by 100x. It's confirmed to be released at the end of this month on May 28th. Um, and so, it's not going to happen immediately right after, but, you know, it's, it's, it's going to happen. Um, so, let me just take a look at some of the other comments on this thread. Um... Uh, uh, so not a bold claim, been confirmed for a long time. Excited for this. I took shite for investing in Matic. I do have Matic as well. Well over the past month, I earned multiple uh, make it stacks worth of Link. Never sold Link, and I've never sold Link either. Um, I've been buying Link since it was $2 and something cents, so I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, 
So, uh, so my three hundred dollar gas fee will be three dollars. Still not good enough. <laughs> I can't please everybody. Um, Matic fees are pennies. It's good enough now. for now. The problem I have with Matic and Loopering and stuff like that—they're great once you're on their platforms. Um, it's it's getting on their platforms and say I just want to upload maybe you know a couple hundred dollars just to or a couple hundred dollars worth of Ethereum or just tokens whatever just to dick around with and, and learn it and just kind of play. I can't do that because the cost of actually getting and bridging my tokens over to Matic and getting it up on Loopring costs so much that by the time I get it up there, it's just like, ugh, really, man? So that's the problem with these layer two solutions right now in my eyes. If I'm wrong, let me know. I just, yeah, yeah. So, um, so this could be a really great way to participate in that without having to pay that initial one lump sum to get all your stuff up on the layer two solution. I don't know. I don't know the mechanics of how this is going to work, but this is just me thinking and my head's not thinking right now anyway. So, um, I believe Arbitrum fees can be paid in any ETH token. Not sure it'll affect link price. Uh, don't need link anymore. Follow me to buy more Matic and Seller as I already predicted. Um, seller and Matic are functional and scalable options for, for future for sure um, and I believe that there's a place for both of them um, so you don't have to polarize everybody thinks you know that I, so people just tend to polarize and just say oh no my solution is better and it just all ends up tying up into the ego um, is Arbitrum the same as Chain, Chainlink? <laughs> Arbitrum is a layer 2 solution that will run on Chainlink nodes it is a separate entity but a super close partner of Chainlink okay so okay um so yeah, and we got some memes and stuff like that. Um, high gas fees, eh, high gas fees, and eh, just a bunch of memes. Um, how do you reduce something 100x? What does it mean, 100%? <laughs> in which case, it would be free. I'm skeptical in order to be 100x. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, that sounds wonderful. Wait till you meet Polygon SDK. It will have your rollups, ZK rollups, and all bridged together. Dare I call it full stack scaling? Okay. Interesting point. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Um, uh, and then Juco here says the only way to get Arbitrum, Arbiswap, Dex will not be tokenized. The only way to get the Arbitrum uh, value as a token, crypto token, is through Chainlink. The only way to extract value from Facebook DM stablecoin is through Chainlink. The only way to benefit from billion dollar tax field credit is buying Link. So Juco is all over the place, but sometimes she has little nuggets of golden truth. Okay, so now back to Cardano, where I was when I found out that. Uh, uh, basically, I had no sound, and I was actually just getting ready to get off the broadcast. <laughs> um, and I appreciate you, N81, for pointing out that you could not hear me. And uh, and <laughs> so I've basically just been trying to go through all the points I've brought up before. <laughs> My voice is just about on edge. And what's up, Tendril? How you doing? I've never seen you here before. You new here, ain't you? All right, man. Well, welcome. Um, so a, a, a new product by Cardano Code Maintainer. IOHK brings ERC-20 tokens to the proof-of-stake blockchain. Uh, Input-output. So basically the ERC-20 tokens are going to make their way. And if you don't know what an ERC-20 token is, is, these are basically projects built on top of Ethereum. So think of Ethereum as like Microsoft Windows. And then think about uh, Ethereum projects, like say, for instance, AGI, which is um, an artificial intelligence marketplace, or Unibright, which is a codeless smart contract platform, or you know, any of these other type of projects that are being built on Ethereum, think about it like Photoshop uh, program being built on top of Windows. And then imagine if you had photo, you had to pay Photoshop tokens in order to be able to use it, and that would be the, t the ERC-20 token for Photoshop to be able to use on the Windows platform. That's kind of how it is with um, the Ethereum um, blockchain and then these programs being built on top of it and programs like for instance AGI and what AGI is it is singularity net it is an artificial intelligence marketplace so people that develop artificial intelligence um, <clears throat> uh, applications uh, won't just be shackled and stuck only selling them to entities like Google and Amazon and YouTube and stuff like that they can branch out and put it on the marketplace for anybody to buy these artificial intelligence services to use it on their own small little small business or individual dApps and apps and whatever. So they're not stuck just selling to the tech giants at whatever price that they dictate. Um, so it's an amazing thing AGI is, but AGI is a, uh, 
It's an application built on top of the Ethereum platform. Well, AGI is also moving over to Cardano. And uh, so you'll be able to bring the AGI tokens, the ERC20 tokens, over to Cardano. And uh, so how's this done? Um, Ethereum is currently the world's most used blockchain, processing billions of dollars worth of transactions each week and millions of smart contract interactions every day. However, the proof of work consensus design has proven to be in limited has proven to be limited for the network. Speeds are too slow and fees too high. Um, yeah, so it's caused the swapping and usage of ERC-20 tokens or the assets issued on the Ethereum network as per compatible standards to be both slow and expensive. And uh, have you tried swapping back and forth Ethereum tokens lately? Because I have, and it's not worth it. So I'm waiting for something to happen. And this is a little something. Uh, Cardano's looking to change that. Our ERC-20 ERC converter is a tool that will allow uh, issuing organizations and their users to handle ERC-20 migration to Cardano or IO project manager. So basically this opens the door for anybody who has applications on Ethereum to also build the same application on Cardano so it can be used on Cardano and then uh, get the speed of Cardano and the gas prices of Cardano and everything like that um, while still using the same application and keeping the same token value. Um, so that is uh, pretty huge. Um, however, I do want to clarify, because I'm reading between the lines here, um, the ERC-20 token, whenever you convert it to Cardano, it doesn't necessarily convert to Cardano. You, the, Your ERC-20 token stays on the Ethereum blockchain. It's not burned. And it's uh, basically wrapped and put on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, so the AGI token will become an AGIX token, and it, you can use it over there and everything like that. And then whenever you want to convert back over to the Ethereum blockchain, the AGIX token is burned, and then it uh, ends up being uh, the same AGI token on ERC-20. So it's not really a converter per se. It's more of a wrapper. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> um, yeah. So that's, that's um, basically the skinny of it. I mean, I, I think all that's just kind of technicalities, but uh, you know, interesting stuff. Um, so yeah, I think I've... <laughs> <laughs> cool. I think my voice has about had it, so um, I, th I think I need to get off here, but uh, um, yeah, I'm not going to work today. I'm going to go to the doctor, and uh, I'm going to try to do this without any prescription medications and just you know, sleep a lot, drink lots of water, and stuff like that. Get a little you know, chicken noodle soup, saltine crackers, and uh, well, I would say 7-Up, but that's full of high fruct fructose corn syrup nowadays. Um, Back in the day, it was 7-Up, chicken noodle soup, and saltine crackers, and, uh, and just plenty of sleep and a, and a heating pad, but yeah, nowadays, uh, instead of 7-Up, I'll, uh, I'll do a kombucha tea here, so. All right, man. Um, I will, um, yeah, let me get this um, outro music started up here. Um, keep yourself healthy. Um, you know, not everything is the Rona, and uh, there, there are still plenty of other um, symptoms and sicknesses out there. The flu is still there. Don't forget about that. Um, so, all right. Uh, I will talk to you guys um, later. <laughs> uh,